In our previous video, we showed you how to connect Shopify to EventBridge. Now, let's review how to set up rules to process the event data. Open your AWS console and go to the EventBridge services. Click on the rules from the left navigation. Select the event bus from the dropdown. This is the event bus you're creating rules for. Click Create Rule to start. Enter the name and description of the new rule. Make sure the correct event bus is displayed in the dropdown. Then, check that the rule type is set as event pattern. Click Next to continue. Set your event source to other. For the sample event, we'll come back to this shortly for testing. Now we can start creating the pattern. You can type or paste JSON into this box. Shopify provides some example patterns that you can copy. We'll use the products pattern for this example. You'll find a link to this Shopify page in the description. Return to your EventBridge console and paste the sample JSON into the event pattern. This example pattern will match any webhook with the prefix of products. If you want to match a more specific webhook, you can edit the prefix, for example, to target the create or update hook specifically. For this example, let's target all the product hooks. This pattern will match any hook with the prefix of products. Now, let's scroll back up to the sample event. This is where you add a sample payload to test the pattern you just created. You can use any sample webhook JSON, or return to Shopify, and use the example provided. We'll paste the sample payload and use it to test our pattern. We can see from the JSON, this is a product update webhook. Since our pattern is looking for any products prefix, it should match to this value. Our pattern is checking the metadata for this value. Now, let's test the pattern. You'll see a real-time message displayed from the test. A green banner means the pattern matches. For example, let's change the payload to create a different topic value. Since the pattern is looking for products, this change will cause an error. When you test again, you'll see a red banner stating the pattern did not match the payload. You can test different payloads to ensure your pattern works. The sample payload is only used for testing and does not affect the final rule. When you're done testing, you can move on to the next step. Lastly, you select the target for the pattern. In our example, we'll use a Lambda function. Just select Lambda from the list of services. We'll choose an existing Lambda function to process the hook data. When you're ready, save your new rule. And now you're done. You can review the settings and monitor the rule usage. The new rule is now activated and ready to use.